Would you like a free copy of Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition on any platform of your choosing which includes the new Modern Warfare Remastered game? Then make sure to check the link in the description below for your chance to win. Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video, hope you guys are having an awesome day as always and in today's video we're going to be going over the Salvations DLC pack that will be available to you guys to download on PS4 on September the 6th, it's very very soon and only just around the corner so we're going to go through the maps today and give you guys a brief overview of the maps if you don't know already so without further ado let's get straight into this video Okay, so the first map we're going to be talking about is Citadel, and this map was once home to a powerful medieval army. This ancient castle now sits broken and abandoned, tight corners for close quarter engagement, whilst the mount and the drawbridge allows the unique player movement opportunities in the mid-sized map. The last trespassers didn't make it out alive, maybe you'll have a better shot. So this map looks insane, it looks like a really really fun map and it just looks insane, I mean look at the image here on screen, it's just mental, it looks so good and I cannot wait to get my hands on this game, uh, on the DLC sorry, and just get into this map because it looks absolutely insane, I mean the mount and the drawbridge, dude this is going to be so good. Map number two is called Micro, and this one looks insane. And basically, what it is is what is better than a barbecue on a hot summer's day? A miniaturized war zone that takes place on a well stocked family picnic table. That's what. Now, you can navigate this bite sized battlefield for a larger than life experience. That is what Charlie Intel have wrote about it, or wherever they've got that information from. But basically, what this sounds like is we're going to be like ant sized people on this massive picnic table so everything's going to be oversized and huge so like this burger is just going to be insanely big and stuff like that i don't know what to expect for this map it seems a bit different and a bit out there i personally would have preferred citadel i, th I can't pronounce that citadel uh, i think the medieval style one i would have preferred that one because it's you know medieval and stuff like that i quite like that stuff instead of fun stuff like this. this this map seems a bit out there but you know let's see what happens all right so moving on to the third map and this one is definitely gonna be probably my favorite one out of all four of these multiplayer maps okay so gear up for a showdown in outlaw a western style reimagining of fan favorite map standoff from call of duty black ops 2 this rough and tough medium sized map brings classic engagement flanking routes and strategic positions for long and medium range combat guys this is insane standoff is coming back from black ops 2 into black ops 3 and i cannot wait because that was one of my favorite maps in black ops 2 i used to love that map especially when i was using my sniper and stuff like that i, I, I was never good with the sniper but it was probably one of the most funnest maps on Black Ops 2. So I can't wait to get my hands on Outlaw because it seems like it's going to be awesome. It's a Western style as well, so it's going to be a little bit different to what the other two maps are. So yeah, I can't wait for this DLC to be honest with you because two maps are already Citadel, I think it is, and Outlaw. Them two look insane. Okay, so the fourth and final multiplayer map, the Call of Duty World at War Classic Outskirts is reimagined as a high-tech facility designed by a futuristic society desperate to repair the Earth's atmosphere. So this is another reimagined map, and this one's from World at War. And to be honest with you, Outskirts, I can't really remember it very well because it was a long, long time ago, but I remember it very vaguely, and it was an awesome map. So I look forward to them three maps in particular, not really so much micro micro is not probably one of the it's probably one of my least favorite maps just from what it sounds like right here so but we'll have to see what happens when we get the dlc just after cod xp but if you that, that you know if you guys have a different opinions then please do let me know in the comments section below so make sure to put your comments in the comment section but let's move on to the zombies map now and in the Salvation Map Pack, it will feature Revelations, the long-awaited final chapter in the Origins Zombies Saga. In Revelations, we meet up with the Origins characters after they've taken an epic journey through space and time. All of their struggles lead to this very moment. In this, the final chapter of the Zombies experience, Richtofen, Dempsey, Takio and Nikolai finally come face to face with the mysterious Dr. Monty in the house. Confronted by an ancient evil, 
our heroes must fight the zombie horde once more in the final battle to save the immortal souls. Guys, as someone who's played zombies for the last 8 years since World of War, this is insane. Now you don't see much of this on my channel because I completely lost track of the storyline but I still got a little, a little bit of knowledge about bits and bobs going on in the storyline right now but I'm not like you know Mr. Ruffle Waffles 100% into it like he is but I do enjoy zombies and I do enjoy the zombie storyline and this is insane. I mean dude they've, they've come back to the house to be greeted by dr monty and because of dr maxis's fuck up they've got to fight for their immortal souls to just live on forever in the final battle this is it this is where it all ends and this i i just can't wait for this dlc it's going to be absolutely insane from what i've read to you guys so far three out of the four multiplayer maps are just going to be insane to me they just sound like they're going to be really really fun and the zombies map as well it's the final the final story for the zombies characters so i can't wait for this it's going to be insane and i hope you guys also are hyped for this because i really am if you guys are then make sure to put in the comment section below hashtag dlc for hype but guys that is it for this video i just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the new dlc maps if you enjoyed it then please do drop a like on the video if you're going to be getting this on ps4 on september the 6th make sure to let me know in the comments below we might be able to play some games together and if you are new around here then make sure to hit that subscribe button because i am on the road to 10,000 subscribers and i hope you guys have a fantastic day as always and i shall see you in my next video.